You can probably see it live with your own eyes. We are seeing it through our camera, and you can see Molotov cocktails and firebombs being thrown at the riot police. Fair to say that the Greek people that are protesting here have a couple of things that they are angry about. Number one, they feel probably hoodwinked about the vote the previous Sunday night regarding that austerity measure. Number two, angry at Europe for imposing these strong capital controls. But perhaps, Michelle, you could go into the anger at the own parliament of Greece because they succumbed. In fact, now we'll find out if they do ultimately with the vote tonight, but look like they will succumb to these austerity measures. So there's anger not only at continental Europe, particularly Germany, but also the Greek parliament itself. Yeah, I, I would agree with all of those points for those people who are out here, Brian. At the same time, a, a relatively small crowd compared to what we have seen in the past, which suggested to us that in the past, the, the folks who were in the square would have been Syriza supporters. And now that their prime minister is saying, get on board, let's go with this, you probably had a smaller crowd than you otherwise would have tonight. It wasn't nearly as big. You know, all the civil servants went on strike today. The pharmacists went on strike today. In theory, you could have had many, many more people out here, but you didn't. You had a few thousand, uh, mostly young people, it looked like, and people that we've seen in the past who are consistently troublemakers, the anarchist group. Um, so, yes, anger, but I think these uh, the people who are here tonight just actually don't want to be a part of the European Union, and they don't want the euro. Is the real test, Michelle, tonight whether or not Cyprus will hold on to his job? So, all roads lead to Prime Minister Cyprus holding on to his job. The question is, how many MPs does he lose from his party tonight? The weaker, the more that abandon him, the weaker he gets. He could rule with a minority, but then he would be hostage to other parties. In theory, he could call a snap election. And the way it works is he could put whoever he wanted on the list of who his MPs would be if he won, and therefore he would guarantee that he could control the parliament. The problem is you've got to go through an election to do that. So he'd rather not do that, right, because they got to, they've got to actually negotiate this bailout program. The banks are closed. You really want to delay like that. Um, but if they held another election, Melissa, he'd still have the job, is the point, and be even more powerful, likely. So what he's been saying to his people tonight and today, according to all the news reports, is, listen, you better stick with me, because if we do this again, I'm still going to be here, and you won't. If you want to keep your job, that's what you're going to have to do. So, like we said, we're going to see when the vote goes down just exactly who voted no uh, and who stuck with him when it comes to his party. But uh, right now, all roads lead to Cyprus staying in the position, just the question being what degree of control and power would he have over the parliament?